this series is about troubleshooting how to get your ICT controller online and communicating with your server. If you're having an issue with your controller communicating with your server, the first step is to make sure that your devices are physically connected. One end of your Cat5 Ethernet cable should be plugged into the controller's Ethernet port. The other end should be connected to either a switch or directly into the server's Ethernet port itself. Once you ensure that the Ethernet cable is connected, you can now start troubleshooting your network settings. Step two should be making sure that the static IP address on your server is in the same range as the IP address as your controller. For example, if your controller is on a 192.168.12 address, your computer should be on a 192.168.1 range as well. In this example, my controller has the IP address of 10.03.1.10. I'm going to make sure my computer is in that range. To do this first, I'm going to navigate to my network connections and select the network that is connected to my controller. Second, I'm going to right click on the network connection and click properties. Next, I'm going to double click on the internet protocol version 4 TCP IP4. Now I'm going to change the static IP address to the one that is in the same IP range as the controller. In this case, something with 10.0.3. Notice this one is off because instead of 3, there is a 20. Add a subnet mask if you don't have one. I already have one here. And click OK. Now click OK again. Once you do this, your controller should start being red as online. If you have a download server in this drop down here, you should eventually have the last download also say succeeded. And there it goes. It say online status is online or and last download is succeeded.